Hi guys, my name is Dimitri Marmelides, owner of Epic Kites, and today's video is gonna be about the new Dimitri Pro V2 bar that I have right here. This bar comes also with a very nice uh, leash, very small, okay, which hooks right here, okay, into this uh, ring in the uh, in the chicken loop, okay, and then this attached to your body. And in case uh, you want to release, you're in danger, and you want to release the entire kite away from you, all you have to do is pull this, okay, by pulling this, it will totally release this uh, second safety system from uh, you, so you're totally free of the kite and you have not to, to worry about you getting dragged by the kite, okay? The, guy, the kite will be gone, okay? So this is a very nice small um, leash that comes with a bar. So the um, Dimitri Pro V2 bar uh, comes only in one size, 50 centimeter length, okay? This is the size you see right here. Okay, 50 centimeter length. Uh, this is actually, this size will fit most of any kites in the market, okay? Uh, I'm talking from uh, five meter all the way to 15 meter, okay? With this bar, 50 centimeters, you'll be able to enjoy uh, all the kites out there in the market. Uh, so no need to have, you know, <laughs> uh, different sizes. Um, so what we do, with, uh, we've been working on this bar for several years now, trying to come up with something really nice, something that uh, the customer, the carter will be like, once he gets his hand, and say, wow, this is a really nice bar, okay? So we worked, uh, we spent a lot of time working on the chicken loop system, which came up to be one of the best system in the market. Very easy to release and very easy to put back. All you have to do is put it in. You don't have to pull anything or to hold it with one hand and the other one, your leg is putting between all that. All you have to do is just, you know, push it in and it's back in, okay? So um, again, it took us a long time to come up with, the, the, with this system. Also, the swivel on this bar is unbelievable. I mean, you can just swivel this uh, swivel with, there's no friction, okay? No friction on this. Uh, so uh, you have two ways of entangling your uh, lines when you're kiting. If uh, there's uh, enough power in the kite, there's a lot of wind, for example, then the lines will, will entangle by themselves. Every time you do a kite loop, it will entangle because it put pressure on the swivel. And if it's very light out there and there's not much pressure on the kite, then you can do it by yourself using your hand, okay? So you just uh, swivel the, um, twist the swivel and twist itself. And I mean, you can do it just with one finger like that and with a swivel since there's no friction on the swivel, okay? Uh, now, on the bar, what we did is we wanted to bring you something really nice and soft for your hands because we had a few complaints about kiters saying about uh, their hands, uh, you know, blistering after two hours of kiting and all that, not only on the previous bar that we had, but also uh, other company bars, okay? So what we wanted, we wanted to come up with something really nice, soft, spongy, uh, but also strong that will last, okay? So we came up with this nice texture that you have on the bar, uh, and when you feel it, you'll see there's a little bit of very, very small microscopic bumps on it, so this will help when you have uh, grease in your hand or sunscreen on your hand, so you don't uh, slip your hand on the bar, so it really holds. Plus also, when you put your hand on, it feels really like a little bit of a spongy, which is very good, you know, your hand like really grabs in. Uh, and also what we did is we add like um, five finger uh, groove in it so your fingers can position themselves. So really it makes you for a firm grip on this new bar, okay? Uh, also at the end, uh, what we have here at the end, you'll see uh, we made because we changed the totally, uh, redesigned totally the bar, and we wanted to make the ends also very soft because it has happened when I spin my bar sometimes, you know, I just spin the bar and boom, it hits my face. I'm like, oh, that hurt, you know? So I wanted to make the ends really soft and spongy. So the ends are really, really spongy and soft so you don't get hurt. Uh, you don't bruise your legs. I mean, it has happened also, you know, when I do something and all that and I jump and then I go like that and then my, my foot and then the next day I'm like, oh my gosh, look at my knee, I have a big bruise. What, what is it? Oh, it was the bar, okay? So this will help, soft ends will help um, keeping you safe a little bit out of uh, when you do your tricks, okay? So, uh, and another thing also, as you can see here, we have very nice bungee at the end. So when you wrap your lines and you're done, all you have to do is put this around to lock uh, your, uh, your line so they don't fall. Same thing on the other side, you just put the bungee around and it holds. And then when you want to go kiting, put them back in, you know, to the position they belong since there's a very nice track there, okay? Uh, same thing with the floaters on each side. We made them so they float and the bar is floating out. It's a very light bar. That's why a lot of um, customers, kiters that tried the bar, they were like, wow, this bar is really light, you know? Uh, so the bar is pretty light. And uh, also you'll see this bar comes only in one color, okay? So uh, you'll see red on one side. So this is always your left side. Red is always your left 
side okay so when you grab your bar like that you crash and you're in the water and you try to relaunch your grab, make sure the red is on the left and not on the right that's also another reason why we put a wrong way sign okay as you can see here there's a wrong way sign and that's the reason we do it so when you see the sign immediately oops, turn it before you relaunch your kite okay i was going to put wrong way in writing in letters but by the time you read wrong way you're already done okay so the sign helps it to, to uh, for you to understand you got the bar the wrong way okay so this is how it should be okay the red le uh, the red uh, side on your left okay uh not only that we worked also on the deep power system uh, you can see the depower power system it's a very easy clamp cleat okay very easy to depower so let's say you overpower all you have to do is grab it and pull it and anywhere you want to go and pull on an angle and then it will grab it okay then if you have something hanging there's a velcro right next to it you just grab it here and it's right there it's a velcro so again you know having you can depower that much if you have that much hanging all you can do is grab the uh the remainder of the line and put it on the clamp cleat there's a velcro there and it will stay there you know for as, as long as uh, you want to uh, until you grab it again release it and set it up back to the power okay uh also uh concerning the um the chicken loop like i said before it's one of the best uh, chicken loop in the market so far okay very easy to release all you have to do is just pull it this opens and then it releases the kites, okay? The plastic of the loop, it's a plastic, hard plastic made out of a very kind of soft EVA, okay? So it is stiff, but again, it will last for, for a long time. Same thing with the donkey stick, uh, same thing. It's uh, made out of a plastic, EVA plastic, very uh, stiff, but also at the same time, it feels soft, okay? Uh, and again, it's very easy to set up again. All you have to do is just push it in and it's back in, okay? So this is the chicken loop and you'll see inside here, you have another ring here and this is where you put your safety leash okay that hooks to your back to your harness and this is where you put it okay so now uh, you have different ways of setting up this this is, is one system so as soon as you release your bar it will kill the kite 100 percent okay me personally i like to have this ring inside my loop okay so i have a two system in one so if i do some unhook moves all that and i release the the bar the bar gets out then it will kill the kite 90 percent not 100 percent and then if i want to kill the kite totally and i see that then i you know disengage this and this will pull out okay and then this will kill the kite so i like it to have in two systems so you can set up this one system or two system together okay this is the chicken loop again um the um, bar comes with uh, 23 meter lines okay when you receive the bar uh, but you have 20 meter lines and also extension three meters so it comes to 23 meters uh, so the reason we did that is because if you want to go big and you want a big hang time then you want to use 23 meter lines that will make you really go higher and hang higher and more power to the kite now if you are a kiter that like to venture in the waves then you can remove the three meters extension and use uh the 20 meter extension that will make the kite much faster in the wave and closer to you so it doesn't um, you know so you don't risk uh, you don't pass uh, the kites always stays in front of you so 20 meters if you're a surfer and if you are a kiter that loves to do a big mega kite loops you know having the kite below you and all that then again use 20 meter lines and not 23 okay so you have an option there to choose uh, what size lines you want to use 20 meter lines or 23 meter lines okay uh, also at the end of um, the lines of the bar when you go to connect uh, your bar to the kite we have also some ends that are cook proof the reason we did that is for safety so you don't uh, uh, you don't do any mistake when you go to hook uh, the kite and the bar together okay so they call uh, color coordinated okay so red goes with red black with black and then gray goes with gray okay and they also uh, they have um, pigtails on it and the other ones have just knots so uh, you know the pigtails and the knot goes together uh, so you don't make any mistakes okay so anyway uh, this is the uh, Dimitri Pro V2 bar and it comes again in only one size 50 centimeter make sure to check this uh, new dimitri pro v2 bar on our online store and uh, hopefully i'll see you out in the water